Bay Area Downtown Airport Information Tango 1753 Weather Observation. Wind 0704, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 01, dew point minus 1, 2, altimeter 3048. Runway 1 in use, expect a visual approach. BFR departures requesting radar advisories. Advise of your destination airport and your requested altitude en route. Advise on this contact with information in Tango. Well, first of all, I want to start off by saying Happy New Year, everyone. I'm back from a long break due to external reasons. In the time I've been away, um, I've begun my instrument training, and I'm actually at the point to where I'm just trying to build up instrument time and fly approaches and all that. So I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a new year, and let's have a great 2018. Greenville Ground, good afternoon. Skyhawk 870, Sierra Papa, the north ramp information, Tango request IFR to Columbia. Skyhawk 870, Sierra Papa, Greenville Downtown Ground. You are cleared to the Charlie Alpha Echo Airport via as filed. Initially, fly heading 030, climb to 3000. Expect 7000 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be Greer Approach 118.8, Squawk 5750. Cleared to the Columbia Airport as filed on departure. We'll fly heading 030, maintain 3000, expect 7000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is Greer on 118.8, Squawk 5750 for 00 Papa. 00 Sierra Papa, read back correct. <laughs> Greenville Tower, good afternoon. Skyhawk 870, Sierra Papa holding short of runway one, ready to go. Pop tower, runway 1, fly heading 030, maintain 3000, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 1, 030, 3000, 0, 0, Papa. Approach path is clear. Runway is clear. And full throttle. Oil pressure and temperatures in the green. Fuel flow looks good. There is R55. And you want to take controls for a second? Sure. Your controls. My controls. Now that we're already up, I'm going to go ahead and kind of turn a little early, put us on 030. Yeah, I can take him back. There you go. I got him. And he'll probably switch us over any second. Number May 700 Pop, contact Greer 118.8. Over to departure 00 Pop, have a great rest of your afternoon. Departure, good afternoon. Skyhawk 870 Sierra Pop on a 030 heading, passing 2800 for, or 1800 for 3000. 870 Sierra Pop, your departure, good afternoon. Radar contact, climb and maintain 7000. 7000, 00 Sierra Pop. Clear it up to 7. Very good. Maintain a heading of 03. So, because this is IFR training and we're just flying in a straight line other than for the approaches, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the approaches to save time and skip all of the uneventful stuff. Rear departure control, 3852 Tango with you at 2000, climbing to 4500. Zero 3852 Tango, rear departure, radar contact, proceed on course, rear altimeter 3047. 3047, proceed on course, 52 Tango. Skyhawk 870, Sierra Papa, contact Columbia Approach, 13344, good day. Columbia Approach, 3340, Sierra Papa, have a great afternoon.
Columbia Approach, good afternoon. Skyhawk 8700, Papa, level 7000. Zero zero four six 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 zero
Okay, go for it. Landing light on, undercarriage down, mixture, prop, and seatbelts. Is the outer marker. And you can see that thing flips. Doop. Yeah. So we just pass that. It's really bumpy. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. But you got it. All right. Slightly right of localizer. Slightly under glide slope. Oh, I loved it when Kurt did that for me. I love doing that for students now. Uh, moment to your climb out instruction, just fly runway heading, uh, maintain view fire below 2,500. Runway heading below 2,500, zero, sir, Bob. Yeah, I got all that written now, of course. Even though runway heading is really easy to remember. Alright, you're killing it. Did I tell you about the alternator? Which plane was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, I got in here in the alternator. Oh no, I didn't tell you about that. Yeah, I was going to take off the other day. And the alternator wasn't charging whenever you turned on the avionics. So that scared me. But it looks to be fixed. Columbia Tower, wind 3603, runway 11, clear land. Hey, uh, clear to, uh, clear to do the option, okay, for uh, one alpha call. One alpha call, sorry, I just saw that. So you clear for the option, after the option, proceed direct to Hamilton Lund. Okay, uh, clear the option, runway 11. And, uh, and uh, the R436. Uh, what did you say? I was just double checking the minimums. Oh, yeah. Very good. All right, you can probably bust out now. I got you. Looking good. Right on glide slope. They got the lights lit up for us. <laughs> I can't wait till I get good. I'm not good enough yet to recognize those. I think those are Mousars. Alsef. Alsef. And that's just a Alsef 2. Wow, their lights are so bright. I can even see the uh, the green threshold lights. <laughs> Do they turn that on just because we're doing the ILS? I think because there's two of us doing it. I guess so. Uh, This feels so slow after riding the jet. What a crosswind, though. <laughs> Even though it's slight, but it was definitely there. Ready when you are. He pulls back a little bit more. Brown. And if you'll. Sarah, Sarah, Papa, speed up to me and reset your transponder squawk 1005. So, one thing I know that will be mentioned are my foggles. They don't look like they work, but trust me, they do. I left them a little bit more open on the right side than I did the left side, so I can see the GPS with my peripheral vision, but I promise you I cannot see outside of the airplane. 
So the next approach was going to be the RNAV GPS Runway 5 into Anderson with partial panel, but the camera died right over the initial approach fix. This is really unfortunate because I would have loved to look back and have this on film, but it is what it is. So the last and final approach we did was the ILS Zulu Runway 1 back into Greenville, and I got to replace the battery once we landed in Anderson, so let's go ahead and skip on to that. Rear approach, Skyhawk 870, Sierra Papa. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, Sky 870, Sierra Papa, rear approach. Sky 870, Sierra Papa, about three miles to the northeast of the Anderson Airport, climbing through 2600. Request flight following back to Greenville downtown, Gulf Mike uniform for the ILS Zulu, runway one approach. Practice. Zero zero Papa squad zero one two seven. Zero one two seven zero zero Papa. Three three five Romeo Bear approach goes three three zero four six. Council five two contact Atlanta Center on one two five point one five. Good day. If you wanted to, you could tune in the Judd Key uh, outer marker. That's something that I always forgot to do. It's not super duper 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 important, but it's uh. But. Three eight seven zero zero Papa radio contact four miles northeast of the Anderson Airport. Greenville weather wind zero five zero seven altimeter. 3044, and I missed it. Did you have a request? Uh, yes, we'd like to do the ILS Zulu runway one approach for Zero Sierra Papa. And full stop at Greenville. 870 Sierra Papa, Roger, proceed direct Sparky for the ILS Zulu runway one approach, maintain VFR. Direct Sparky, and we'll maintain VFR at Zero Sierra Papa. Did you put it in the flight, flight plan? Sir? They sh I don't know if that's in the flight plan, but you can just go direct. And then okay. type in Sparky. Type it in for me? Yeah. We're basically direct anyway. Yeah. Oh, I overshot. Just barely. But you get. We got and five miles and miles, and miles to get back through it. East of the Clemson Airport. The Greenville weather wind 0507. He sounds three, like an automated four, weather. Four, Does he have like a. I was thinking that earlier. 90 uh, vector ILS Zulu runway one approach maintain VFR. He's got a wonderful radio voice. Where are you at? Okay, taxi runway one via Alpha Five and Alpha Cross runway one zero two eight on Alpha. And so can I fly this one all the way down? Three zero four four. Oh, all the way to minimums. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll go flaps ten. All the way down to 12, 16. You're going to be shocked at how close you are to the runway. Three seven zero zero pop tower, clear to land. Clear to land, zero zero pop. From a three X-ray echo tower, runway one, taxi via Alpha Five and Alpha. Cross runway one zero two eight on Alpha. The wind zero three zero at four, altimeter three zero four four. Little bit left, of course. Or right, of course. And there's 1216. Booyah. So that's what it'd be like flying it down the minimums. 12918 X-ray tower, runway 1, taxi via Alpha 5 and Alpha, cross runway 1028 on Alpha. That would be scary in clouds, though. 4, altimeter 3044. One of my uh, buddies who flies, like, charter airplanes, they have an airplane that lands itself and stuff. Uh, Joe? Uh, not, well, it is, it, Joe flies for him, but it was another guy that did it, and they flew their plane up into the snow, and they went and landed on snow, and he was like, dude, I couldn't even see the runway. <laughs> but they landed it on the snow and they had that plane land it. And he was like, it was the softest landing ever. Runway 7 0 pop tower, turn left at Alpha 6, taxi base of the tower. Oh, 
Uh, we'll exit left Alpha 6 and we're going to the south ramp, 0 0 pop. South ramp, roger, left turn there at Alpha 3. Alpha, left Alpha 3, 0 0 pop. Oh, you die.